Well, what's going on, everybody? Uh, sorry I've been taking a little too long to do the nutrition video, but I'm about to do it now. I'm actually, as you can see, in my car uh, on my little lunch break, so I decided to go ahead and do this for everybody that was looking to see my modified uh, nutrition guide now. Um, for the most part, I pretty much stay the same. I'm right at around 2,200 calories a day. Uh, give or take a few depending on what the day is but I still eat the same thing every day I just modified what I eat uh, for breakfast I make my own oatmeal I uh, I take an apple slice it up uh, half a cup of oatmeal uh, two cups of water some cinnamon and some nutmeg and I uh, I bring that to a boil and once I bring it to a boil I cover it up and let it simmer for about an hour. Uh, what I tend to do is make uh, a whole batch of that the night before I actually eat it. And if you split it up in half, each serving is about 220 calories. So that's my morning. Um, for my first snack, which I have around noon, I actually make my own protein bars now since I went all the way vegan. I just try to cut out well I do cut out all the eggs and the milk uh, dairy whatever it may, may be what I do is I take uh, 340 grams of peanut butter um, also take 50 grams of chopped coconut and 50 grams of dehydrated pineapple and I put that in there and I mix those all up of course you chop up the pineapple don't just put a whole ring of pineapple in there it won't uh, work out too well for you so I I mix that all that up and I take four scoops of soy protein I, I tend to use vanilla protein that way it kinda gives it a kick and a taste and I put uh, a couple drops of coconut extract in there not only is it better than buying the protein bars it's actually cheaper way cheaper than buying so I'm cutting costs and I'm only doing the calories and each bar if you split it up in a 12 by 12 I use a 4 by 4 uh, pan you don't even have to bake it you just put it in there I put it in the refrigerator to kind of make it solidify a little bit more um, you do that and it's right at about 240 per square of uh, of protein bars and I usually eat about two of those so um and it just depends on how you cut it up um so then for my lunch now i'm actually eating a spinach sandwich what i do is i take uh, i make two sandwiches uh four slices of uh, wheat bread they're, they're probably at about 400 calories a piece uh, i take um just a handful of spinach and put it in each one uh, it takes two cups of spinach to make 20 calories so I'm not even reaching a cup of spinach so I'm putting that in there and I take hummus uh, which a lot of people don't know it sounds nasty but it's actually only chickpeas that are ground up I take hummus and I mix it with uh, rotel tomatoes which if you never had rotel tomatoes uh, a warning <laughs> they're a little spicy but they I mix that up a container of hummus and a can of rotel tomatoes you mix it up in a bowl it'll last me probably about three weeks I put that as like a cheese spread on top because I, I mean even though I'm vegan now I still like you know I guess the cheese you wouldn't even know that it's the cheese is not there um, hummus itself is about 70 calories per tablespoon so I probably use uh, I'm sorry 70 calories for two tablespoons so I use those two tablespoons and I spread it over the actual sandwich or on the bread and then I put it together and I have an apple along with that that's my that's my dessert um, for my second snack what I do is I take the second half of my uh, oatmeal that I made in the morning and I eat that for my second snack and that's at four uh, I have lunch at two um, then at six o'clock what I try to do is once I'm at home at five I try to get my workout in so what happens is at five uh, I've, I've already eaten my snack at four so that takes me till about uh, five o'clock when I get home get ready do my workout 
right after that I have my uh, protein shake which now what I do is I take eight ounces of soy milk um, some people prefer rice milk over that or, or for people that are non-vegan non-vegetarian regular milk uh, whatever the case may be and then I uh, actually take um, uh, half a cup of mixed berries put it in there and I take a, 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 a scoop of the protein shake and put it in there all of that only adds up to about 330 calories uh, actually no I'm sorry it's less than that it only adds up to about 220 calories um, and I put that in a little juice blender that I have mix it all the way up you'll be amazed at the taste it tastes great um, and then at 8 o'clock is when I have dinner and what I do now is I take uh, two-thirds a cup of uh, the boca meat I mix that up uh, I actually put in a little pan with some onions chop it up a little bit of seasoning not a lot at all uh, I cook that for about 10 minutes on a low simmer uh, I take one cup of um, steamed rice and I take a cup of steamed vegetables and what I what I used to do is I used to eat it separately and now I just put it all together in a bowl and and, and it's great the tastes blend in together and, and it works out great for me um, and all of that believe it or not is only about uh, 600 calories so once I get done with that I uh, and now what I've done is at 10 o'clock I have a bag of 100 uh, 100 calorie popcorn I just started adding that into the mix it just any little cravings that I have I only have one of those and then I'm done and throughout the whole day I am drinking water I actually work as you can probably see I work for Culligan Water Company so <laughs> I have a ready supply of water always always there for me um, if anybody that's having trouble with this I know I know it can be tough but you gotta make the sacrifice you you can't keep doing the same thing and expect to get great results um, for anybody that's writing me and I don't get back to you as soon as possible I apologize but I do have a life so <laughs> if I don't get right back to you uh, give me a give me a second give me a couple days maybe I've actually had some people that were you know upset that I didn't write back to them as soon as they wrote me um, I do respond to all emails and all comments so uh, whenever you you have a question for me just let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible um, keep pressing play it is not an overnight change you didn't get fat overnight <laughs> you're not gonna get to the weight that you want overnight um, I, I, I get a lot of emails about people that uh, they're only two weeks into the program and are already questioning the program you can't tell if the if the program is called P90X I mean it takes 90 days which means you gotta give it 90 days not 14 days um, I, I'm sure I'm leaving something out but if anybody asks me a question just leave a comment write me an email if you don't want everybody else to see it I'll get back to you uh, and I hope everybody just has success even if you're not doing P90X and you're just working out just put your all into it there are a lot of programs out there that work for people and they only work if you apply yourself to it if you don't apply yourself all the way to it it just won't work at this point blank uh, you can't you know go half-assed and expect to get a hundred percent results um, remember the worst thing you can do is to do nothing so I hope that helps out and everybody get it together have a good one it's the big show signing out